question. Have you ever eaten or tried matzo ball soup? Have you ever made a matzo ball soup from scratch? Just wondering. Back in a minute. Hey, this is Jan for York City. My channel name is Jan for York City Saves Money, and I really, really love to help people keep some more of their hard-earned money. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing well. Is everybody doing this evening? It's Monday night. So Monday night, for a few weeks in a row, this will be, I will be sharing some soup recipes because this goes back to my mom always believing that Mondays are a perfect day for soup as the main course meal. So I'm carrying on a little bit of tradition here by just mentioning soups and some recipes. All of these recipes are coming from this wonderful book. Thank you, Patty, from the Life of Patty channel. I appreciate it. It's a great book. With great recipes. Today, we're going to talk about matzo ball soup. Have you ever had matzo ball soup? I had it years ago. I didn't make it uh, from scratch. I had it at a restaurant. It was so good. They nailed the flavors down so well. This wasn't even in New York. This was in Atlantic City, New Jersey. I was on a little vacation. And uh, the matzo ball soup was so good. I had it twice. It was at first an appetizer. I loved it so much. I canceled the main course and said, can you give me this as the main course instead? They were like, sure. It was really, really good. I wish I could remember which place it was, but it was somewhere in Atlantic City. So if you get the matzo ball soup just right, it was really good. <laughs> All right. So actually, I'm going to need my little bit of teacher glasses. Maybe you could get a pen or a pencil if this is of something of interest to you. It's very affordable, and it actually serves six people. And the total time uh, altogether from start to finish takes two hours and 45 minutes. So it takes a little bit of a time there. Perfect on a very chilly day when you want to, you know, warm up your kitchen a little bit and keep a little something simmering on the stove. All right, let's go. So you're going to need three large eggs beaten. You're going to need a quarter cup of schmaltz or shortening. You're going to need a quarter cup of seltzer. You're going to need three quarters of a cup of matzo meal and kosher salt. You're going to need freshly ground black pepper. And you're going to need eight cups of low-sodium chicken broth. Two large carrots, peeled and sliced, into one-quarter-inch rounds. You're going to need freshly chopped dill for garnish. In a large bowl, you're going to combine the eggs, schmaltz, and salsa. You're going to stir in the matzo meal salt and pepper. You're going to cover and refrigerate this until well chilled, at least two hours. You're going to bring a large pot of salted water to a boil. Using wet hands, you're going to shape matzo mixture into six large balls. You're going to drop the matzo balls in the boiling water. Cover and reduce heat to a simmer. You're going to let this simmer until cooked through for 30 to 30 five minutes. Meanwhile, you're going to warm the chicken broth in a large pot with carrots. You're going to season with salt if necessary. When the matzo balls are finished, remove from the water with a slotted spoon and place into serving bowls. You're going to ladle the warmed chicken broth over and serve with dill. Yum. So here's the picture again. If you can see it, I hope. There you go. Got yourself a little bit of matzo ball soup. Wow, that place really nailed it. It was just so, so good. Nothing like a hot bowl of soup on a chilly night or afternoon for lunch. You could always reheat it and have it for lunch. Soup is a great budget stretcher. You will always hear me emphasize the goodness of soups, especially in the chillier times of the year. There you go. Thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. And until the next time with another soup recipe on a Monday night, let's do what this lady does. I think this lady actually has the right idea. What do you say?
Good night, everybody.